Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Pete's Cookhouse. Um, this week, we are going to... Actually, we're going to create something. This is going to be like a kitchen lab that we're going to be doing. My wife and I have this place that we go to once in a while, and we really like it. Mary Brown's oh. is an amazing chicken restaurant. Um, it's a Canadian franchise. Uh, it was established in 1960 in uh, St. John's, Newfoundland, um, and has since grown to, I think there's over 300 locations mm -hmm. across Canada. And they have, um, as of now, they have four different sandwiches. Uh, they got all sorts of other stuff like combo and, you know, the, the, the drumstick. It's kind of like a mirrors KFC, but a hundred times better, personally, I think. Um, but they have, um, like I said, four sandwiches. <laughs> Joys of living in the city. Anyways, um, one of them is the Mary Brown. Uh, no, it's called the Big Mary. The second one is the Spicy Mary. Uh -huh. And there is the Buffalo Mary. And they have the, I think if I'm not mistaken, it's called that there's a new one that came out called the K Grill. Right? You think? Maybe, possibly. It's, it's, um, it follows in the tradition of, um, like, it's more like a Thailand inspired chicken burger kind of deal. Um, but where I want to go with this is I want to create a Mary Brown chicken burger that does not exist yet. And maybe hopefully they'll take it on you know if it's good so our chicken burger will be two chicken patties that we're gonna make uh, not just one but two and it's gonna be uh, lettuce tomato bacon and some spicy ranch sauce so it's gonna be like a bacon chicken ranch sandwich but spicy and it's going to be double and i'm going to call it the hell mary right that's what we decided hell mary. the hell mary because it's a big sandwich so don't go away i'm going to get what we need to get started we're going to start off with our chicken we're gonna we're gonna get it all ready because it has to go in the freezer for a, a little bit so it freezes and it's easier to, to handle. Um, so let me get all that stuff ready and I'll be right back. All right guys, so we're back. Um, chicken I'm gonna be using is chicken thighs. Uh, because I just find them so versatile, so much better tasting. Because there's, you got the white and the brown meat mixed up together. And what we're going to be doing with this is we're going to we're going to mince it and we're going to make two patties out of it. Um, now, for those of you who do not have a food processor, you can either cut it, like mince it really really small, or you can take a little trip to the dollar store and get yourself a little chopper like this. This is actually pretty pretty damn cool um so the blades are extremely sharp in there this is all a manual little machine you put your stuff in there and just pull on it and it just minces i'll show you how this works so um little tray to put your patties on there we're going to be making two patties we're going to season them uh, simply with uh salt pepper and a bit of garlic powder once everything is all minced up um and We'll make our patties, we're going to freeze them, and then we're going to prep our sauce, our lettuce. Um, we're going to be prepping our dredging, uh, dredging station also. Um, we're going to be doing our own breadcrumb with crackers and uh, with the seasoning in there too. And uh, yeah, it's going to be good. So let's get started. All right. So first, let's trim a little fat on these guys here. You don't have to like go crazy on it, but 
let's just take a look at what they have here. So. So now uh, all these pieces are uh, cut up into a decent size. So we're going to put this in our handheld processor. First, I'm just going to. All right. So how this little processor works? Uh, basically, you just put the stuff in here. Don't put too much because what's going to happen is going to be really hard to twist. Just put a little bit, and once it's all minced, take it out and redo the process. So have a little bit like this. Lock the lid and start. Does it, does it yank it like a lawnmower? Yeah. <laughs> and pretty much here you have minced chicken. So take this. We'll put it on our little tray here for now. There we go. Jax, thank you for the sound effects. Don't need them. All right, now, chicken, when you're doing this, the chicken, when you're mincing it, it's really, really sticky. Uh, well, pretty much any meat, like it. Um, ground beef is the same way, but chicken I find is a little bit more sticky. There we go. Now we've had how many of these? These little chopper things? Four, maybe. Yeah, I mean, they're practical, <clears throat> but they are a dollar store. I mean, like, they're only like, how much are they? Four seventy five. That one, yeah. How much was it before? Like Two bucks. Two or yeah. yeah. Needless to say, I mean, they're not the most expensive thing, so don't expect it to last like 20 years. Uh, especially if you're doing using it a lot, this could break like very easily. Right. So we have our mince chicken. Ta -da. Have a lot of mince chicken. They're gonna be big patties. Okay, so put this in here for cleaning. So we are going to uh, form our patties, but first we're gonna add. Well, we're gonna add the seasoning afterwards. So what I want to do is I just want to line. I just should have done before, but I want to line this little tray here. Uh, with parchment paper. So I'm just gonna transfer this stuff into here. Like that. Yeah, these are gonna be like, like someone says, biggie burgers. Who says them? Biggie burgers. We won't go there. Some politician oh. in the States. We're not going to get politics. No. Well, no, I can't say that. Because we did a, a liberal hot dog. That was the extent of 
my political rant. You all know how I think about him. I just think he's a big wiener. That's nice. Huh? Not nice. No, but it's true. Freedom of speech. True. There you go. I'm the nicer one. Huh? I'm the nicer one. You're the nicer one, yeah. She tells me often, you can't say that. <laughs> oh, yes, I can. <laughs> All right. So, the only reason why I line up uh, the parchment paper is just because I don't want it to stick to here because we're going to freeze them, right? So, going to cut a piece here. Like that. I mean, you can use parchment paper, you can use Plastic wrap, or ceramic wrap, or whatever. I just you know, crap for find this at the dollar store. Pretty much all the little stuff like that, the little knickknacks you get at the dollar store. It's a lot cheaper than going to the big brand stores where they, they cost double and triple. So, all right, you got your parchment paper there. Um, and we're going to start forming our two patties. I said these things are really sticky. And freezing them, once they're slightly frozen, will be easier to manage and to go through the dredge process. So you want a good sized patty, right? Because this is the Hail Mary. Right? Right? Mm -hmm. It's a Hail Mary. It is. <clears throat> so getting there. Make it about I'd say like what size of quarter pounders? Well, you can come take a look. Oh, oh you're playing. <laughs> She's playing. Still have a lot here. Okay. Um, here, what do you think? So this is the size you're going for, a uh, quarter inch thick, you know, and uh, you still have, you could probably do two more with that if you wanted to. So we are just going to season a little bit, a little bit of salt and pepper. Don't need to go crazy. You can do this after also, but we are going to put a little bit of seasoning in our uh, breading station. But I like to have it also on the meat a little bit. So, salt, pepper, and a little bit of onion powder. That's it. Now, this is done. We're going to put this in the freezer. And we're going to uh, freeze them up so that we can do the dredging station. And we'll be right back. Okay. All right, guys. So, we're back. Um, while those things are freezing, we're going to continue prepping our stuff. One of the elements that we're going to be putting on our sandwich are also crispy onions. Um, I know we said, um, you know, the ranch style, like the chicken bacon ranch, uh, but we're also going to add the element of the, like, the crispy bacon instead of just, not the crispy bacon, the crispy onion. And we're going to have also crispy bacon on it that we're going to be doing like simple. Uh, so first things first, 
We're going to get our onion and we're going to slice it up and get it ready to go in the deep fry. So, I'm going to take the skin off here. So, the thing with crispy onions is that it needs to be sliced very thin. So, the thinner it is, the better it is. Now the crispy onions also have a dredging station, which is going to be basically all we're doing is uh, we're going to moisten them up a little bit with some. Normally, you use heavy cream or milk, uh, or really any element that will get them moist. <laughs> so and we'll do this, and we will in a rough chop like this. We will put them in a bowl. And we will cover them with a little bit of half and half just to get them moist and then we're going to drop them in our flour mix uh, with a little bit of seasoning in it and then we deep fry them so um, do this put that in the bowl like this And then we put a little bit of half and half in here, just to get them nice and moist. So, I will go and get the flour and be back and we will clean this up. And we're going to do our um, little dredging of the onion rings. Uh, not the onion rings, but the crispy onions. And then uh, we will deep fry them. Be right back. Alright guys, so I have my flour here and I started up my uh, deep fryer outside uh, get that all nice and hot so in the flour we're gonna add some black pepper and this is all to taste really you can do whatever you want with this um, I like to add a little bit of seasoning to it so salt and some onion powder And I will also add some smoked paprika, quarter teaspoon, right? Sure. Sure. Okay. And last but not least, uh, how about we add a little bit of... Cayenne pepper for a little bit of heat. Forget about it. So we're not going to go that much. We're going to go like a quarter teaspoon here. Put that there. Give this a mix. Tiny plate to put our stuff in. All right, so we make sure that these onions have all been nicely covered, and we shake off the excess, and we just drop it in here. Get all 
this goodness in there. Like that. All right. Now let's give this a little toss. Make sure you want to get all of these onions covered, so make sure they're not like all caught in a clump. Because it won't be good if it's all in a clump. We don't want no clumpy onions, do we? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, she's still busy with her game. <laughs> Alright, so once this is all covered, we will transfer it to this plate after I wash my hands off. And then we will go and deep fry. Now, these things, they take not even a minute. So they're not that long to do. So once they're done, um, actually what I'm going to be doing now, I'm doing another thing that's really quick that we're going to be eating, uh, is our ranch, our spicy ranch sauce. Spicy? Spicy. You look surprised. No? No. Nothing surprises me anymore. It doesn't, does it? No. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to transfer these guys here over to this little plate. Yeah. I could have left them in here, but no, I need that plate. this, put it aside, and that's while our deep fryer is getting up to temperature. Put that there. And now we're going to need a little mixing bowl. Now this sauce is very, I'm doing it the very simple way. There is another way that you can do it where you can actually make your own ranch sauce. Uh, there's Quite a few elements to it. Uh, I was actually debating on going that route, but uh, since it's a, I don't know, it's a it's a test burger. Um, I'd rather go the easier route. I mean, it, it's going to taste the same, ish. Fresh is always better, but uh, this is the more convenient way. If you guys want to do it without going out and buying a specialty like a dill powder and all that kind of stuff. Or dill, dill powder, not dill powder, dill weed. God, okay. It's a long day Did today. You sleep enough? <laughs> no, not much. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna take a shortcut. We're gonna be using ranch and sriracha. That, that's our spicy ranch. I did test it this afternoon for lunch, and it works. It actually is very good. Uh, I haven't tried the one from scratch yet, but I will eventually. But for this burger here, because we don't need tons of it, so maybe two teaspoons of ranch dressing. Sorry, two tablespoons. I always get those mixed up. Two tablespoons of ranch dressing and one teaspoon of sriracha or to taste whatever you prefer um, I'm just going with one teaspoon which is kind of like that there we go. There we go. so we will give this a mix and then we'll set it aside so basically all it does it turns your ranch sauce orangey and it gives that little nice spiky spicy kick to it so it's like that chicken bacon ranch which is like a, a, a steak this one will be brought up a level with that really nice sauce to it let's see nice little orangey spicy sauce okay so we'll put this in the fridge that sauce is done, um, and then 
I'll go see if deep fryer is ready. If it's ready, we're going to do our onions, our crispy onions, and uh, we got to do our bacon. And after that, we're going to do, we're going to move over to our uh, chicken, which is still needs a little bit of time. So that being said, I'll be right back. Hey guys, so now we're going to get our dredging station done. Um, I took the liberty of going and deep frying the uh, crispy onions. This is what they look like. To be honest, <clears throat> it was quicker to just go and do that than doing the whole setup. And, you know, you've seen it in previous videos how I made the uh, the crispy onions, and uh, yeah, we're good. All right, so uh, dredging station, the normal stuff. One will be egg, the other one will be flour, and the other one will be breading. Our breading, we're gonna be using cracker go to very simple grab a couple and you we will pulverize it uh, until it becomes powder so put these in the bag and uh, I guess that should be enough Again, you can put this in a food processor, you can put this in that little manual thing that um, I had, uh, or you can do it old school and just beat the crap out of it. What are rolling? Like this. Ah. Oh, me. I'm getting shushed because the cats are sleeping. Do we shush the cats in the middle of the night when they wake us up? We should. We should, yeah. So you want this to be as powdery foam as you, you can get it. Uh, just because it sticks a lot better. So, we will put that one here. Like this. I think a little bit more. Because uh, it turned out that I made three patties, and the last one is a big one. So, I want to get all of them done. off here. You know, you don't have to use crackers. You can use pre-made stuff, whatever is convenient for you. I'm just showing that you can do this stuff on a budget. And our days now, with the way the economy is going, a lot of this stuff actually comes from the dollar store, um, which now they carry a lot of brand names. Uh, this was from the dollar store, premium, pr uh, premium, premium press. <laughs> okay, Shaggy. Um, you can find sriracha sauce. I saw that actually the other day. Uh, there's sriracha sauce there. Um, there, there's everything. There's a lot of brand name stuff there too. It's like pretty cool. So we will add some seasoning to our breading. Uh, again, salt and pepper. We're going to kind of like mimic what we did for the, um, the crispy onions. So onions, uh, onion powder. It's, this is going to be like to taste, you know, because it is. We're testing this. There's no written recipe for it. It's all to taste. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Right? Like. I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. Uh, smoked paprika. 
I'm gonna add like maybe a Oops. teaspoon. Who's stupid? Somebody on my waist game, she just calls stupid. Okay, so um, no, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of Italian seasoning. Why not, right? So, add maybe half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And Onion powder and a tad of mustard powder. We'll see how that goes. So, half of that, half a teaspoon, and half a teaspoon of ground mustard. Why ground mustard? I don't know, because I think it sounds cool. All the fancy recipes have ground mustard in it, so why not? And a little bit of cayenne pepper. And we're going to go with a quarter also. There. Give this a whisk. And that is your breading. For your chicken. Do you still have the number plate to your grill, sir? I have not. Well, I think you should. Well, my wife just reminded me to remind everybody who mm. hasn't. Shame on you if you haven't. <laughs> well, I did. You I did. called my mom this morning. You did. And I wished her a happy Mother's Day. Because it is Mother's Day today. Um, so if you haven't, and you're watching this next week, then you're in deep trouble. <laughs> All right. So please give your mom a call. Tell her how much you love her. And uh, give her a big hug and kiss. Uh oh, there's Boo. Boo, you can't, sorry. This is Boo. There's one of two. And this is uh, my wife's little creature. Oh, come here, baby. He loves you. My cat's well behaved. That's why you don't see him. Your cat is a whining cat. He's not a whining cat. It's really? Not. He just wants attention. Okay, so as you can tell, give the egg, egg wash a whisk. Okay. What? Who's watching? Want square, right? Well, give him <laughs> Her cat is a drug addict. Excuse me? Yeah. He always wants squares. Squares are like little treats. Constantly, that's all he wants. He's in the middle of the night. Here. 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 I know it's not normal to you. Oh, put it in. I'm going to get shot soon. Okay. So, we... Have our dreading station. Uh, I'm just going to clear a little bit of this stuff out here. And we are going to prep our chicken patties and we're going to go and deep fry them once they're done. And after that, we come back and uh, still a couple little things that we're going to be doing, but I mean, we're pretty much going to be ready to build once this thing is all deep fried. So let me get our chicken out. I mean, it's firm, but it's not like completely hard. Yeah, let's try to get this out. Sticky. 
coverage or we want to do this into the egg wash make sure again you get the proper coverage and then into this my hands are completely disgusting this one. I just want this huh? I just want this you know what I'll just leave it there for now. So it would have been better if you were, we would have waited a little longer until these would have been properly frozen. But because I don't want to finish the show tomorrow, we do that now. So get the breading on top. Got very good coverage. Shake off the excess and put it in a tray. All right. So, repeat step. And there. into the breading goes. Make sure you get bread right a lot more. This is a test lab, so we're trying out this kind of stuff. So note to self. Make sure that it stays at least a couple of hours in the freezer before attempting this. You will have a lot easier time doing it. Okay, so thing is I do have another patty in the freezer. Would you mind, dear? Yeah. In there. That's my wife. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Hi. You will be seeing my wife one day. She will be doing a show with me. Yep. We'll just have to figure out what show. Right? Okay. What would you like to do? You mean as far as cooking? Yeah. Um, do you know the um, the store we drive? No, it's the store. What's it called? When we're driving to the store. Tenders? No, 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 no. But like a fun one. Um, oh, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, you know yeah, what they're, I mean, they're, right? the, the, yeah, like the carnival. The carnival restaurant. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little place in town here that they do carnival food, and that's all they do. That's all they have on the menu is yeah. carnival stuff, which is an interesting concept. And you'd be wanting to do what from there? Well, I've never actually been in it, so I don't know. They have a website. Mm -hmm. Do they? Yeah. Well, we'll look at it. Is it like funnel cake? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They have all that fun stuff. You could do a whole show on it. I don't want to do a whole show on it. Why not? Because there's only so much you can do with funnel cake. Well, they have more than that. I need help. What do you want? Why don't you get yourself into that position? No, I need... Here, <laughs> take this off. See how I'm sucking my wife into yeah, it? Yeah, I just realized <laughs> Okay, right in on that. okay, so we will go and deep fry these patties. 
and we're going to be doing them one at a time because they are big. Um, and we have to get them to temperature when they're cooking. So they have to be, uh, they are cooked at 160, minimum 160. That's for poultry. Now, I will have my digital, di digital? My, my digital timer, my di digital timer, and uh, I'll be keeping an eye on it. So, come join me outside at the deep fryer. That way. Alright guys, so we're, we're back from my outside. We have our nice crispy cooked patties. I mean, they are nice and golden brown. I can't wait to try these guys. We have our crispy onions. Now, what we need is our lettuce, our tomato, and our bacon. So, as I was saying previously, earlier in uh, other episodes, pre-cooked bacon is a cat's meow. Reason why is you can either eat it like that. It's, it's already cooked, so you can use it like that. But if you want it really crispy, microwave for one minute ten seconds that's all you need they're gonna come out let it rest and they're gonna be like they're gonna be breaking apart and that's what we want we want something really nice and crispy so we're gonna need a little bit of lettuce and we're gonna cut it in the pizza cookhouse fashion which is like really stringy like really fine like hair fine and uh, what we need is a chunk, and we'll go like this. Pretty much all we need, I guess. Put this back in here. Get rid of this. Start off, start off flat. And again, like I always mention, we can either do this with a knife. If you're not comfortable with a knife, you can use a mandolin. Or, if you want, you can just use it as a floppy leaf i mean it all tastes the same uh i just find texture wise it's different you know uh and the other thing is that when you take a bite out of this stuff here you don't have the whole leaf following out or falling out of it or not following your bite so that's 
another reason why I like that kind of stuff. So, this is done. It's a little too big. Take that out. Take this out. Okay, this is what we're keeping. Get rid of this. Not making tons of burgers, we're just making two. And one of them is a Hail Mary. So, we need tomato slices. You can, oh, oh, not you, but I can see some bacon here. And this is what it looks like. Like that. See? That's going to be, if you let it rest there, that's going to be extremely crispy. And I will show you in just a couple of minutes here. So, we'll get a couple of uh, slices of tomato. like that okay oh look one more just in case for good measures like that get this out of the way now one of this burger I was gonna say one of these burgers are not like the others well they're not because one of them is a double and the other one's a single. So um, we need to make a double bun. Because double buns, I haven't, I haven't, have you seen any double buns? Like you, you can buy at the store? No. No. Okay, so we have our top lid. And this, uh, I like these because they're really, really soft. Uh, these are the Brizolio soft and they're... I think they're made with olive oil or something like that. But um, they're really like tasty. So what we're going to be doing, here's their single one. We're going to be just chopping off the crust off the bottom part. Right? So how am I going to do this? Uh, hang on. I think it's Do that. Do that. 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 See right there? Put the button in here. Put this on top. And you're holding down on this. We'll make it work. Hang on. No, it would be a lot more practical if this plate can shake. Okay, so we did cut off the bottom part. We shaved it. See there. See? We have our middle button part. You impressed? Very. I forget about it, yeah. right? Yeah. Probably not <laughs> okay, so now we need a new bottom part there to finish off this bun. So, like that. Now we have our what kind of like is our Big Mac bun. Yes. So we got the bottom, the middle, and the top. And we will build what I call. A Hail Mary. Mm -hmm. Now for this, I'm going to use my presentation plate. Million dollar presentation plate that I keep in the same place in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, let's build over here. So we have our bottom bun. We have our middle and we have our top. We will be putting sauce on the bottom. Huh? We're getting a stink eye from him. Oh, someone will be getting a stink eye from him. From your boy. That's right. 
All right, so we have our, our special ranch, hot ranch sauce. Put a dollop on the bottom, like this. <clears throat> Beautiful. We will take one of our patties, and that goes like this. Beauty. Now, how do we do this? Lettuce? Lettuce, tomato, bacon, and then what? repeat? Say it again. Lettuce, Lettuce tomato, yeah. bacon okay. on top of this. Yeah. Then we repeat after yeah. that. Okay. So, the boss said lettuce, tomato, like this. And bacon. Now, bacon, see that? It's broke because it's very crispy. Okay, so we will add three bacon stacks. Are you looking for spare tires? Yeah. Top of the bottom, oh, it's the middle. I will put some sauce on there too because we can't leave out anybody here. Got a little bit of sauce on that. Put the, that lid there. Looking for square? Repeat with the sauce. Ranch. I'll get this. Hot Mama's boy. Okay, so and we take the other patty and we repeat that. With lettuce. This tomato, tomato, that bacon, this is going to be massive. Let's not forget our crispy onions, go on top of all of this, like that. Take it out, take it out, take it out. Now, put a little bit more on the top lid. God. <laughs> hey, it is the Hail Mary, right? I don't think anybody's got a mouth that big. Don't. I did not say anything. <laughs> Look at me. So we crush this little puppy down. And there you have, ladies and gentlemen, Mary Browns, if you're watching, this is your next hamburger. This is for you. We did this for you. This is called the Hell Mary. That wow. is a piece of art. Good. Look at that. Look at that. It's huge. I know, but what about the bird? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have a second one that is going to be the single. Um, and we're going to build that too right now. This is going to be a really quick and easy one. Uh, we're just going to move this puppy here. All right. We're running out a little bit of a sauce, so we're going to have to... Hang on, we're going to mix a little bit more. So, ranch, give it a shake. We're just eyeballing it. A little bit of sriracha sauce. Mix. We'll mix a little twist. Now, dollop on here, dollop on top, spread it, make sure you're 
even everywhere. I think this one should have the option of cheese too. What do you think? I think so. This is what we're going to do. We got to give Mary Brown a couple of options here. Yeah. Right. So, bottom, we got the sauce. Cheese goes there. This is like a quarter pound of a chicken patty right here. So we put that on top like this. All right. Lettuce. Let us not be cheap. <laughs> You're so funny. I know. I'll be here like forever. Great. Tomato. Right? Can't forget the tomato. Like this. Now, bacon. Sorry, a little round short on bacon here, but you get the idea. <laughs> and crispy onions. Like this. And put the lid on top. And that is a mighty fine chicken burger. Very brown style. Wow. What was I? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me clean up this. And then we'll do the taste test, all of this stuff. Here. Ridiculousness. And uh, I'll be right back. Don't go away. Well, guys. Here it is, which started off as an idea-ish, turned out to be these monsters. So we have what I'd like to call the Hail Mary, which is double patty, uh, spicy ranch sauce, bacon, crispy onion, lettuce, tomato. I mean, it's, it's, this thing's just ridiculous. But you know what? I would buy it. If Mary Brown would do this, I would buy it. Would you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we have two versions, basically. This is the the Junior Hill Mary. I would call that the Junior Hill Mary with cheese, right? And we have the Hill Mary. Kind of like the, uh, the Baconator and the Son of Baconator. Right? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm paying attention, all right? I am. <laughs> so we're going to do a taste test. I don't know which one to taste first. Or I, that's, there's just one that I want to taste. The other one I'm probably going to donate to charity or something. Next door to my grandkids. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to take a bite of the Junior. It's basically the same thing, just less of it. Um, right? And that's going to be my dinner. So, let's give it a try. Like this. I'm not even going to cut it. I'm just going to take a bite in it. Okay? No, I couldn't. I know some kids that could. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean... You can't go wrong with this patty. This patty is so moist because you know we minced it and we put it all together. The taste is so good. It's it's a it's what we called it. Mm -hmm. It's a junior version of that with a little spicy ranch, not too much, just enough. You got the cheese in this one, you got the bacon in that, and you got the tomato, the lettuce, and the, the, the patty is so moist, so tasty with the uh, seasoning that we put in it. Give it a try. You know, try to make it. I know there's a lot of components to it, but it's really easy to make. Or wait until Mary Brown decides to make it and sell it. Mm. Tell them what Pete sent you. 
guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet hit the like button the notification button and stay tuned for next episode um see you next week have a great day thanks